Hello there and welcome to Cory Loses, where today we're going to be starting a brand new Empire at War mod playthrough in Stargate Empire at War Pegasus Chronicles. Uh, so the Imperial Civil War preview playthrough just finished, I think, yesterday. And uh, it'll be a couple weeks before I start the new Republic one or the new Republic one. So I thought it would be a good time to come back and check out one of my favorite mods because I love Stargate. And I also have... Uh, some sort of obligation to play Empire War all the time. So, it's been about a year since we last checked out this mod, and it's had some updates since then, so I just wanted to see how much had changed since then. We're going to play in the Pegasus Prelude campaign map as the Tauri, who are the Ancients for the purposes of this campaign, and we're going to play on hard. It's basically a campaign that you're intended to lose. Uh, we managed to win it last time we played as the Tauri, uh, or as the Ancients, but we'll see if we can repeat that. So let's go in. There's a lot of tactical missions that occur during uh, during this GC. I guess they have that written right there. But it is a very uh, story-heavy story -heavy game. Oh. This is new. This is making me think of Minecraft for some reason. Shouldn't have happened. Do I need to restart? Into this galaxy to find peace. We only found war. I may need to remove the music. I'm not sure. A war that we're losing. Loosing. That's a typo. It is primarily a German mod team. There are too many. They are too many. They are too many. This shouldn't have happened. We've been so arrogant. This was triumph. We are at war with the Wraith. Over the last few centuries, they have successfully expanded. More successful than we ever thought possible. Maybe we were too confident and allowed them to develop and even multiply because we did not see the threat they represent today. Now they are too numerous to be defeated, even though we are technologically superior. For every Wraith ship we destroy, two more appear from nowhere. Every victory we gain is quickly compensated by them again. So we've started to make plans for a retreat from Pegasus. However, many of us are still scattered throughout the galaxy, and it will take time for them to return to Atlantis. We're still running several scientific projects in the hope of developing more powerful weapons. We're finding significant weaknesses in the Wraith technology. Unfortunately, our efforts have been getting more and more desperate. Even the most optimistic scientists doubt that any of these will do more than buy us the time we need for a retreat. Alright, so let's take a quick look at the galactic setup here. Uh, it's not the prettiest mod, but I really enjoy the gameplay in it. I really enjoy the story elements to it, and it is something that is currently or is generally being updated. Uh, so the map actually does look fairly different from last time. The background of the galaxy has been changed, I think, because uh, I think before it used the base game one. But it also seems like we may start with fewer ships than uh, what we used to. I'm going to check if there's any uh, income increases we can get right now. It's just the stations it looks like though. So let's focus on upgrading Tyrannus and I'd like to get Duranda built up a little bit more as well, but we'll settle for Nostos. The Wraith do have a lot, or actually no, let's not let's not do Nostos. Uh, the Wraith do have a lot of ships, and they get some a lot of spawns. Basically, a lot of the tactical, uh, a lot of the tactical missions lead up to you getting pushed back, so it's kind of to be expected. But I would like to avoid that if we can. We suspect blueprints for improved fighters and bombers in secret labs. 
laboratory on Mars. If we can conquer the planet, we might be able to find them. All right. So let's get our puddle jumpers up in there, Observe and let's go to Laros. We can get another ancient frigate, which would be would be nice. But I am kind of focused on the stations. I'd like to get the level three first. All right. Let's do that. Okay, we'll fly down there. Is that a capital ship? Or is that another bit of the station? This real station's up there. This might just be a defensive satellite then. Hyperdrive modification commands have been successfully entered. Hyperdrive construct modifications are commencing, sir. Are you all right, sir? Yes, sir. We're wasting time. You seem sincere. All right. Uh, puddle jumpers. Are you all right, sir? Some good bombers for us, and we have some good anti-fighter here. Auxiliary power is that. All right, puddle jumpers, go for this. Our ships are much stronger. What is this? This is a space hangar. All right, puddle jumpers, go for the space hangar. Let's make sure that our corvettes don't get killed. You're gonna focus on that. You are gonna focus on that. Yeah, so our units are much better than theirs individually, but they're, they basically win by overwhelming numbers, which they are more than capable of getting in this, uh, uh, this campaign. So... We, we're gonna have to pick a side to be more defensive on and a side to be more offensive on. But I also want to get through as many of the, uh, the missions as possible. All right, uh, let's make sure they're going into the correct area. For a second, I thought it wasn't working because I'm so used to the predictive pathing green lines. All right, go on in. Are you all right, sir? Hyperdrive construct modifications are commencing, sir. And there we go. The VO is fairly limited. Uh, so. We're going to hear a lot of those lines many times. All right, we can take out this one from more of a distance. And that one as well. All right, you guys get out of there. We'll let our ships handle this for now. Hold on, you're much further in than I wanted. All right, uh... Okay. Frigates. That one. The destroyer. That one. This one. That one. Okay, that's already down. Let's see if we can get the hangers now. Send you guys after that. Okay. But yeah, so... Looks like my microphone is peaking a lot. That's not great. Um. Did we get all of them out? We did, and they didn't even really lose a hard point. Are you all right, sir? Just gonna check that quickly. Sorry. Uh, okay. Turn that down just a little bit. Okay, sorry about that. But yeah, so we will have the uh, the next Imperial Civil War playthrough fairly soon. Uh, let's get you guys out of there. And also, I'm probably going to be the fall of the Republic. Uh, Republic playthrough coming up first. Uh, I just want to make sure, because we're in the middle of beta for... 
uh, for ICW 2.3. I'm not sure if I want to launch that right away, uh, the playthrough, because there's not much to preview at the moment, because it's all in testing and it'll be what you guys are playing with. So we'll see. I might still do it. Just because I like to live life on the edge like that. Here we go. Our first victory there. Lost some puddle jumpers, which is not great. It will successfully discover the blueprints. When we have funded the research on Lantia, we can manufacture heavy fighters and bombers. Uh, I'm going to get the heavy bomber research. Because bombers are great. And... Let's make sure Duranda is still defended. One of our Aurora-class warships has returned heavily damaged from a battle with the Wraith because of selfless actions of General Hoferalkis. The ship managed to survive to honor the dead general. Uh, the crew has re renamed the ship after him. It should return to the hip We should return the Hippo for Alcus to the shipyards of Tyrannus for repairs. We're currently developing a new type of ship on Tyrannus. The prototype is nearly finished, as long as the ship is not yet put into service on the planet, together with the shipyard and blueprints, must not fall to the hands of the Wraith. Uh, Alright, so... There's a Tyrannus. Currently another ship is being repaired, but since it is nearly operational, we decided to release it even though the backup system has not been integrated yet. Due to the heavy damage of the Hyperfrog, it's impossible to tell whether we can repair it at all. Alright, so we do have uh, one of the really big ancient fleets, or er, ancient ships. Crap! Fuck, I was just going to move it so I could pick up the, the puddle jumper. I think that was an immediate spawn there. That is really frustrating. Because the puddle jumpers don't have, or at least they didn't have, uh, hyperspace capability themselves, so you have to bring another fleet back to them and bring them over. Uh, that sucks. Hyperdrive modification commands have been successfully entered. Hyperdrive construct modifications are commencing, sir. So I don't know if we ever get that ship type now. Are you all right, sir? Or if we ever get the Hippofralcus back? Auxiliary power. I mean, I guess we definitely don't get the Hippofralcus back. We're but time, sir. Hyperdrive modification commands have been successfully entered. All right. Well, let's send the puddle jumpers back here. Okay, cloak there. Take out the hangar on the hive ship. That's going to be what we need you first for. Oh, actually, go for that. Not the hangar on the hive ship. Will you render assistance? Are you alright, sir? sir. Okay, so one of these has a new ability that it didn't before. Are you all right, sir? All right, so that was not good. We lost a frigate. Crap. Uh, Duranda. Yeah, that ability I think is new for the for that ship. Whichever one just wrecked all of our fighters at once. This is going to be another one we can't. Defend against. I think it'll be better that we just focus on building, 
building ships instead of building stations. Because the stations are rarely enough to fend off an attack. And we're going to mostly be running back and forth between planets. So we'll probably be better off just to... Uh... Just to try to keep the ships alive and go take whatever we can and sort of chip away at them that way. Let's see if we can at least take out one of the Harbinger cruisers. Pull you back. I don't think we will be able to. I mean, I think we could, but it'd come at the cost of the frigate. Got that at Laros. Let's go to Sagon. Modifications are commencing, sir. All right, let's go to the ship hangar first. Oh, that's not good. Auxiliary power is now online. Hyperdrive modification commands have been successfully entered. I assume this brings in the two Harbinger cruisers. Right, you seem sincere. All right, you guys, keep looking at those fighters. There we go. Are you all right, sir? I'm not sure if it's two or three, but I'm pretty sure it brings in at least two. Because right, it was had the two last time, one of them might be an actual part of the fleet. Because they did have at least one here. Are you all right, sir? All right, set down. I think those are also new structures. Because uh, I don't remember fighting against them, or at least not fighting against them that much in previous builds. We're wasting time, sir. So right now we'll keep this fleet built around this destroyer. Uh, and then we've also got the, uh, the ancient warship, which will be the center right, of that other fleet until we can get... Uh, We're wasting time, sir. One of the city ships, which they used to be really weak. Uh, so we'll see if that's been changed at all. But hopefully, that'll be helpful to us. Well, I'll get one of you after the hangar there. Actually, we just need the plasma weapons. I'm not that concerned about the hangars. Okay, I'm actually starting to be concerned about the hangars. So you guys get back there. There's that one. Are you all right, sir? Auxiliary power is now online. Puddle jumpers. And that we've avoided, I think, most of the damage from these dart ships. Dart squadrons. You seem sincere. And over on there. Wasting time, sir. Are you all right, sir? You seem sincere. Will 
All right, there's those two mediums. There we go. All the fighters are dead. And we bypassed the satellites. Are you all right, sir? You seem sincere. We're wasting time, sir. Yes, sir. You seem sincere. Are you all right, sir? And there we go. A victory for the ancients. Very rare thing. They're falling back. Lost some puddle jumpers. Okay, it was actually three real Harbinger cruisers, so maybe it's a production building. Uh... Alright, so I guess we'll go to Edoan. We have the bomber squadron. Let's get... Let's get five of them, because they're really damn good. Whether we win or lose, it probably won't be an especially long playthrough. That's one of the reasons I chose to play it now. Uh, it'll be... I've assumed about five episodes. Uh, let's go north here. Auxiliary power is now online. And... We're wasting time. Hyperdrive sir. modification commands have been successfully entered. Are you all right, sir? Hyperdrive construct modifications are commencing, sir. It'd be nice to have another frigate in here. Okay, that season, needs to die. Sir. We only got the one there. Are you all right, sir? Auxiliary power okay, that needs to die. Any plasma satellites. Time, Are you all right, sir? Render assistance. We do have the same three corvettes with each one, so that's... It's a lot of anti-fighter. As we saw last time, that can really shred the fighters. And... Let's, uh... You know what? Is it dialogue or sound effects? Yeah, dialogue. I think we've heard all of this VO enough. Alright, back off, puddle jumpers. You gotta run off. Move in. I think we need more of a fleet for this. I don't want to risk losing the warship. It probably it may have been able to do that, but I'd rather not risk that. So let's go to Nostos first. Which was ours, but we just lost. Oh, that's happening. Get a Pathfinder and get back to Deronda. I'm not going to do the Ancient Fighter research. Uh, we'll get a couple more bombers and an Ancient Frigate. It's only a level 1 station. So we might be able to handle this with the fleet that they sent in. And... It's just the one hive ship? Or is that the other kind of capital ship? 
I always forget the profiles. We'll probably put the heavy bombers in the other fleet. Well, maybe we'll just grab five for each one. Because we've got the discount on Lantia. So we can pretty cheaply get them. You guys are going to go for that hangar. If you want to keep going for the level 1 station, I'm going to get the warship uh, to keep going with that. And puddle jumpers, you're going to head back. You didn't get the hangar. No, I wanted you to kill the stuff that you were told to shoot. I didn't want you to fly into it. All right, uh, you still got your engines. We should be able to take out all the heavier Oh, wait. These have the four artilleries. That's a lot. Your shields are coming back. Some of this seems like it's been buffed. Unless it's just the hard difficulty modifiers now have, like, super high stat increases. And maybe I'm just misremembering. These guys haven't really taken out any hard points, and they've been back at it for a while. Oh, God. All right, well... We might even need to combine the fleets we do have. At least then, I'll be pretty confident we can take out whatever threats so that could be worth it but they made it back there get Laros back okay well we got that the difficulty is going to be that if we're not building stuff on the way in or we're not building stuff, then they'll just be able to get it on the way out. Okay, so they got a spawn there, which was equal to our whole fleet power. Or they finished building something, but I they get regular spawns. Uh, well... Yeah, we'll probably put the fleet together and go after some of the uh, some of the more defended planets that we've had to retreat from because we were like just below the the cusp there. Ideally, you'd want two or three fleets that are able to go around and kill everything, but that's not going to be especially feasible with this, I don't think. So I'd rather just focus on one area that we're pretty much guaranteed to win in right now and 
try to do whatever damage we can that way, and hopefully that'll uh, alleviate some of the pressure in other areas. All right. Okay, so I think we are actually going to leave it there for today. Uh, so we've got our bombers being built on Lantia, and we also have the two Cirrus there, which are almost up to the five. So next episode, we'll start off combining... Uh, both of these fleets will go for Sagon, and we'll see if we can go for Hoff as well. So like Sagon, Hoff, and Edoin. I'd love to get Tyrannus back. Uh, we'll have these bombers into the fleet soon. And we can even try to use the bombers as defensive fleets as well. But that'll be for next time. So thanks again for watching, everyone. Hope you are enjoying the series or enjoyed the episode. It's not really a series until the second episode's up. But I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.